Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout for Library. Are you ready to get charged up? Well, today we're exploring electricity. Or should I sing? Electricity, electricity. Sorry, that was one of my favorite songs from the classic, which means old, Schoolhouse Rock Cartoons. I'll include a link in the description box below so you could check it out for yourself. Now, electricity powers things all around us, like our tablets and computers, our lights, and so much more. But what if I told you that you can make your own kind of electricity? Now, not the kind that will power a light bulb or your tablet, but a safer kind of electricity. What if I told you that you could pick something up without touching it? You could stick something to the wall without glue. And you could even bend water. Sounds like magic, right? But it's not. And we're going to explore those activities today with a special kind of electricity called static electricity. Now this week there was actually a static electricity day. But what is static electricity? Well, maybe you've walked across a carpet and then touched a door handle and been zapped. Or perhaps you've pulled your winter hat off quickly or brushed a hair through your comb very fast, and then your hair sticks up all over the place. Well, then you have experienced static electricity. Now, today we will explore static electricity with some simple activities that are almost like a magic trick, but it's not. It's science. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at electricity. Electricity is a form of energy. Many people depend on electricity. Electricity comes from atoms. Atoms are tiny particles. Atoms are so small that you cannot even see them. This model shows what atoms look like. Everything on Earth is made of atoms. Books, desks, air, and even you are made of atoms. Atoms have three parts. Protons and neutrons are in the center, and electrons circle around the center. Electrons moving between atoms make electricity. Electricity is created when electrons travel from one atom to another. Static electricity is made when two objects rub together. You can see and feel static electricity. It makes your hair stand up. Has your hair ever stood on end after you combed it? The comb rubbing against your hair makes electrons move between the atoms. Static electricity can make sparks. Some sparks are tiny. You might see tiny sparks when a sweater rubs against you as you put it on. Other sparks are huge. Lightning is a huge spark of static electricity. Lightning is made when ice crystals rub together inside of a cloud. Static electricity lasts for only a short time. When a comb stops rubbing on your hair, electrons stop moving between atoms. Your hair will soon lie flat. Are you ready to get charged up and make some magic? I mean science. First, let's start by making an object stick to the wall without any glue. Now the object I'm going to use is a straw, but if you had a balloon, you could use that too. And I'm calling this the magic straw. You're going to need a plastic straw, an item to help charge or rub against the straw. So natural fibers work best. So if you have a scarf or a sweater um, or even just a cloth or even your own hair, and of course you'll need that wall and some low humidity. So if you have a humidifier on, you might wanna turn it off. So the procedure is, is you're going to rub the straw against a cloth really, really fast or even your own clean dry hair really, really fast. And then try 
sticking the straw to the wall. Now, what do you think will happen? Will it stick in like this? And how long do you think that charge will last? Go ahead and try it for yourself and explore. You could try rubbing the straw for a longer amount of time or even cutting the straw shorter to see if that affects how well the straw sticks to the wall. Now we're going to pick something up without touching it with the help of a magic wand and static electricity. Now for this activity, you'll use the straw or the other plastic balloon or item that you used in the first activity. And you also need the cloth or the scarf or even your own hair um, to rub and charge the uh, plastic straw. But you'll need a couple other things like salt and pepper and a plate to put it on. So what you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle some salt and some, sprinkle some pepper onto a plate. And then you might want to mix it up and mix the salt and pepper all together. Now, if we were going to pick up that pepper individually and separate it from the salt, that would be a pretty tricky task, don't you think? Well, using some static electricity, we're going to be able to pick up those pepper flakes without even touching them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the straw and you're going to rub it really fast against your cloth or I'm gonna use my head and my hair actually. So when you're doing that, you might wanna even count to yourself. Uh, okay, maybe you're gonna to try to count to 30. So you know you're doing it for um, a long time. You're gonna to wanna to rub it really fast. So start counting to yourself. Twenty, thirty. All right, you could count even higher than that. Now let's see what will happen if I pull it right above the salt and pepper, but I'm not going to touch it. <gasps> What's happening? Pretty cool. The uh, pepper flakes are attracted to the electrical charge that is on the straw that I, I transferred from rubbing my hair against the straw. It's pretty cool, isn't it? But why do you think the pepper flakes stick to the straw and not the salt? Well, that's because the pepper flakes are lighter than the salt. So they're more easily attached and attracted to the charged straw. And you can discharge the plastic straw by rubbing it on gently with a paper towel or something else, and then repeat the activity, but change one thing. Try a different item to charge or rub against the straw. Change the amount of time you spend charging or rubbing the plastic straw. What do you think will happen and what worked best? Try it and find out. Can you bend water without even touching it? You can see static electricity in action with this easy activity. And what you're going to need is a dry plastic comb, a head of clean hair, and a working faucet. So go ahead and turn the faucet on low. And the stream of flowing water should be very thin. Then take the comb and pull it through your hair at least 10 times. Then once you've done that, slowly bring the comb close to the flowing water, but don't touch the water. See what happens to the water. Do you think that it's going to come closer to the comb or is it going to move away from the comb? Find out and see what happens. Well, the water should bend towards the comb, but what happened? Well, the electrons from your hair gathered on the comb. And then this gave the comb a negative charge. And things with a negative charge attract things with a positive charge, like water. And the comb pulls the water towards it, 
just like the uh, pepper flakes were uh, drawn to the straw that we rubbed against our hair. Pretty cool, right? Try it out for yourself. But what are some other ways that you can explore static electricity? Can you try picking up different items like tissue paper? Or what other items can you charge your straw or your comb against? Try them out, see what works the best. Maybe you have some balloons lying around or plastic grocery bags, or maybe even some other light food items. Now you can also check out these books and more that are available at the library. I hope you keep exploring, I hope you have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye!